This is a Chinese espionage group that has typically in the past been tied to like pretty sophisticated operations. It has started uh, targeting beginners with these sort of pre-made scripts, which are designed to entice people who are just getting started in InfoSec or maybe aren't that technically proficient into downloading and running backdoors. Mm -hmm. So this tool is called SMS Bomber, and it's supposed to do a denial of service attack against phones which sends them like tons and tons of SMS messages and makes it so they can't receive any. This is just like a harassment attack that like teenagers would like use against each other because it's not really like a very serious, you know, attack. Like, and in this case, the people who are trying to do the attack know nothing about the way that it's actually done. They're just trying to find a tool on the internet where they download it, they run it and attack someone's phone. The infection chain on this gets, uh, is my runner up for confusing ch uh, chart of the week, but while it is, I would say, a tad bit ugly, it does kind of get the point across. All right, so it's weird that it starts like at the bottom. Though. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, why does it? Why is it like a, a set of intestines? Like, why is it like all like squiggly like this? And then there's the state of Nevada <laughs> right here. Exactly. Oh yeah, you can see the state of Nevada making an appearance like right here. It starts out with the infected file. So let's say you wanna you wanna SMS bomb your your boyfriend that's running off to a cafe with some lady while you're biding your time with your air tag tracker. So you download the SMS bomber and then it runs and injects the shell code into note, the notepad process. So the notepad process goes and gets a payload from a GitHub account and as well as the command and control address. And then it runs the command and control so that the remote attacker is able to interact with the device gets payloads and sends information about the victim, including their location by getting nearby SSID. So it'll mm -hmm. run a scan and find nearby Wi-Fi networks in order to geolocate where the victim actually is. So, so it's like a GPS, right? Sort of. Yeah, basically, yeah. exactly. It's like a assisted GPS. It'll send the information and then the attacker will generate a DLL host.exe, which is the spotnet malware. It will set a persistent DLL and then Finally, it will get a hidden T client payload, which this is the interesting part. It's a stenographically like um, encoded JPEG file. Huh. So rather than just downloading like a regular file, the actual malicious code is embedded in a JPEG image. Nice. Like so, so some pretty like sophisticated obfuscation going on here when it comes to implementing this. So another interesting piece of this is they they rolled their own AES. So they're calling it AEES. <laughs> because they uh, performed the inverted sequence of round operations twice. Um, but they just got in here and they're, they're like, you know what? Any analyst that's trying to go through and just like break into this, screw them. And we're just going to make our own AES. We're going to make our own encryption. So if you understand cryptography and you want to like add a backflip, like, you know, in, in, in some part of the way that it's doing the encryption and you know the consequences and you're willing to do it, you can throw in anti-forensic steps in here that make it super annoying, punishing and obnoxious to go through and find out, you know, what the what the author was trying to do here. And that's exactly what this is. This, again, is a pretty sophisticated threat actor. This is someone who's typically associated with some pretty high level intelligence activities. So the, the kind of guess of the uh, bleeping computer guy here was that their intention was based on some some sort of other intelligence that was gathered because this is a very sophisticated and kind of limited um, strike that's only targeting a specific tool. So it looks like they maybe got some information that a specific target they wanted to infect was using this tool or was looking for this tool or, you know, that this would be a good tool to propose to them in some context because it looks like they were trying to infect either a specific target or a narrow range of targets with this attempt. Because it, again, it's quite sophisticated and it's from a group that typically is involved in intelligence activities and going after some pretty high level targets. So very odd that beginners are the targets in this attack because- It's working fruit kind of. Like, yeah, exactly. They, they would understand what's going on. Exactly. Um, it's like, I, I guess if you're going after brats that like are trying to like, you know, attack SMS, like swat someone with a bunch of like messages, yeah. like it's not a very like malicious attack. And it also means that you have absolutely no skill and, and you're just looking for these tools that look like this for one, which is a huge red flag, but also, you know, cause you to become infected. Pretty funny, I guess that uh, <laughs> the, the targets here are people who themselves are looking to do something like low level illegal, but that is apparently what this group has been uh, told is a, a good idea to uh, to do in order to get some specific 
target that they're going after. So if you have been very publicly considering sending a bunch of SMS messages with someone as a prank, then maybe the Chinese are on to you and you are the target here. And you heard it from us first. It's kind of funny, but also lame how often I get like that request from like random, not even friends, just like people who know I do computer stuff. They're like, hey, can you help me like spam someone with a bunch of text messages? Like they're the exact demographic that would like exactly this kind of thing. exactly so it's, it's just like maybe just like or... like recent high school graduates are like the target here so protect yourselves if you just graduated yep. from high school 